we've been waiting for you, rebels from Hades! How outrageous of you, a mere pretty instructor, to oppose the president! Your actions call for no punishment short of your death. All of you shall be executed right here. Ooh, these guys seem different than the others. Hell yeah, they do! They're the three brutes of the netherworld! I didn't think we'd see them so soon! The three brutes? They sound pretty tough. They're not just pretty tough. They've punished more humans than anybody. They're the symbols of fear in the human world. Silos of thunder, the atrocious Trollmayer, Baltus of despair. Together, they are the three brutes of the netherworld. So they're like the five something something. Do they have their own kids show? No way, they aren't anything like that. Miss Fuka, is it? You seem rather calm in the face of such strong enemies. Just call me Fuka, and what's to be scared of? Strong or not, this is all just happening in my dream. Pardon me? In your dream? Dixis still hasn't accepted that she died, and believes that everything that's happening is part of her dream. Okay, I... I see. Interesting. And you? Desko is a final weapon that was created by humans. She's just a girl who aspires to someday become a final boss. What a wonderful dream. Oh, Lady Archangel. I may have chosen the wrong kind of people to align myself with. The Three Brutes, huh? Well, there sure are a variety of people these days. They're juveniles who earned some points during your absence. It's only natural that you don't recognize their faces. However, I can't accept the fact that these whelps are arrogantly strutting around in your presence, my lord. <laughs> then we shall teach those youngsters a lesson on how to fight a real battle! What's happening, dudes and dudettes? Um, what I thought would be a boss character is really just a normal class. Um, yeah, th these are like, you know, boss versions of the normal classes. Although I even shouldn't really say that. You know, see, he cl changed the class. That's an atrocious warrior. One of the three brutes. Um... That's actually a theme for this chapter, uh, like evil syndicate groups and the Thunder Emperor. He's really just an on an Onyo monk. That's kind of hard to pronounce. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go into you know he he's the he was a character. It's his chapter. He deserves it. I'll go over the Onyo monk. Try saying that ten times fast. I should try saying anything ten times fast. Ten times is really fast. Uh, but the thing about this is they give you a slew of geo panels on the side to take advantage of. There's like, yeah, attack plus 50, attack plus 1, increase magic range, and recovery. Um, so, I'm going to be an asshole and take advantage of that uh, extended magical range and you. just uh, snipe a lot of these characters from afar with magic. Because I'm an asshole like that. <sighs> I mean, if you were strong enough, you could just totally ignore it, but uh, armor knight, those heavy knights are kind of hard to deal with with physical attacks. Especially since if you're attacking them from the front, damage is reduced by 50%. Although, is that only physical damage or all damage? I don't want to look it up. I am ready. Okay, the Onyo Monk. The monks from the older Disguy games were dedicated to controlling Geo Blocks. Oh boy, here comes a burp. Yeah. Ooh, I could edit that out, but I'm not going to. 
Uh, yeah, the, the, this class used to be this old man, and I remember the bill for it in, like, this guy, too, was create a strange old man. I'm like, what the hell could that be? And it's just this geezer with a beard that kind of floats while sitting, and it's the exact same class, but I think they found out that, you know, old men don't pull well in Japan, or any country for that matter, so they made him a younger Omnio monk. Eh, good for them. Anyway... Uh, the Omnio class is a similar creature, though they are not as one-dimensional as the predecessors. Instead, this class gets some decent damage on area of effect spells and then can cast fairly well in combat. The best use of the staff, as their spear damage is paltry. When you're not using Omnios for area of effect spells, you're likely breaking them out to geoblast something that has gotten in your way. Taking out negative geoblocks is often a map-changing event. Enemies with major boosts are, or impossible, to kill are hard or impossible to kill. Your Omnio can quickly get there. Why don't they just say your monk? Uh, can quickly get there where they need to be and take out such Dio blocks. It's reckless not to have at least one of these characters, especially if you enjoy exploring the item world. Yeah! Uh, admittedly, I'm aware of this class's utility. However, uh, I'm just so used to not using them. Um, uh, here, let me, let me... Okay, they learn... Uh, they use spears and staffs. <sighs> Excuse me. But, uh, use staff because, uh, they learn star magic up to the Giga version. Uh, star ma is a magic attack that powers through enemies' resistances, though you won't often see star top out with as much damage as an elemental spell used against an enemy, especially vulnerable enemy. You also won't have to risk doing low damage because the target is resistant to your best spells. The other benefit is... Okay, well, here's this class's main ability. Mass Blaster adds 10% damage for each target in area of effect. For each target. So, I guess that means they do 10% da uh, extra damage for a single target already. And then, plus 10% more damage the more enemies you're attacking. Uh, this is nice for Star, because in the item world, there's often varying resistances, and you're guaranteed to hit them all for neutral damage as a result. Uh, magic, the most amount of enemies you can hit when you max out a Star spell, or any magic, is 9. So, if you hit 9 characters, uh, that's 90% extra damage to each one. Um, that's that's pretty nice. That's a that's a neat ability. Definitely better than whatever their ability used to be. I can't remember, but the point is, it's a damage ability, and that's nice to have. It could make them a, a pretty damn good spellcaster later in the game. Okay, uh, they have a 25% resistance to every element, uh, and a movement of four. It's, uh, better than three. That's for sure. Uh, they also have character-specific classes, like Geoblast. This is an item world ability that destroys Geoblocks that you want removed from the map. Something there are, Sometimes there are blocks that are really going to give you pe your people trouble. Skip the map if you can, but what if there was something special nearby, or an innocent you want? When a Geoblock is being pesky, and you don't want to run through the level, have you only pop out and blast the Geoblock to give yourself some breathing room. Uh... I'm not- I don't remember what the range- I can't remember if this spell has a range, or if you can just select any geoblock on the map. And remember, this is only in the item world. <laughs> so, don't think you can, um, be taking advantage of the Omyo Monk for the X-Dimension maps. That just ain't gonna happen. You cheater. God, I love Attack Plus One. Alright, then we have Geoblast. No, that's what I just read. Then we have Geo Warp. This is an item world ability that lets the Omnio teleport to a different section of the map. There are times when this can be useful for grabbing extra treasure. It's also good if you cut off if you're cut off from a special event, pirate ship, or something else that's lucrative. Lure the enemies towards your party and then have the Omnio teleport so that you can accomplish your goals without having to fight as many targets. Nice. I think this is a compensation for... There used to be an item in the very first game called the Hyperdrive that allowed you to warp anywhere in the item world. 
And of course, it was like it worked like a pair of shoes. So, equip the hyperdrive, warp to the exit, unequip your shoes, and then walk into it. Cheap. So they made this instead. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Of course, being the guide that this is, it's missing. Uh, being, being the guy that says it's missing two of the of the spells that the Omeo can learn. Ugh, so annoying. Um, it can learn a bonus blast as well, which if an enemy use it, it randomly eliminates a random uh, gift from the bonus list. Uh, pretty annoying, especially if you're trying to get a specific item from the bonus list, like a uh, Mr. Genzi's exits. Uh, if you use it, however, all it does is it shuffles the contents. So, theoretically, you could do this every turn right before a full bonus gauge until you get shit you like. Uh, this could be handy in the very, um, in, like, the most powerful weapons to ensure you get legendary items of, like, rank 39 weapons so that you can go into them and get the strongest weapons. Uh, so that's nice to have. And there was one more bonus ability that they learned, but for the life of me, I can't remember. Although, actually, let me... You know, while this is going on, if I turn on my game, I think I can uh, look it up. And then I'll be happy to read it before then. Alright, anyway. So that's their spells. Uh, for the rest of the abilities, uh, Mash Blaster, as we went over, that's nice. Then they learn Geo Energy. Adds 10% to all the character stats per Geo Block color on the map. Uh, I'm not sure if that counts null or not, but for example, on this one, uh, there's four blocks, so your stats will go up 40%. That's pretty nice. Uh, Geo Blocks aren't that uncommon. You're most likely to get at least a 10% boost um, to all your stats. And again, the stronger you get, the more useful this is going to become. Uh, that, that's not bad, but, uh, what, what are the rest? Okay, I don't really remember. Uh, Geo Resist nullifies damage from Geo Effects or Falls. Uh, you know, whatever. It, you know, there, there, are, there are things like damage 20% or ally move, or if you break it, it hurts it, but... Um, it, very rarely are you killed from that kind of stuff, and... If you just watch your feet... This shouldn't be an issue in the first place. It's better to improve the raw stats. I've got to stop doing these things right when I wake up. Uh, let's see. And finally, Geo Damage. Mega Star. Um, increase Geo Chain Damage by 50%. Uh, you should not be relying on Geo Chains to da to damage your enemies. It's just a nice bonus. So, definitely, uh, the very first ability would be the best one. Uh, meaning that this is a utility class that can also do a fairly good amount of damage. Let's check their aptitudes. The Omyo Trainee, the base one, has an HP aptitude of 80, SP 120, attack 100, Defense 80, Intelligence 120, Resistance 130, Hit 90, and Speed 110. So he's got, uh, he, he has uh, aptitudes where it matters most, SP and, and Intelligence. You're going to want a lot of SP for this class because his ability encourages hitting as many opponents at once. So you're going to be using a lot more SP as a result. Um... Pair him up with a ghost for magic change so that he can regenerate his SP if need be. Uh, it'd be pretty helpful. S since SP restorative items aren't that common and don't restore a whole lot, there are very few reliable ways to restore SP during a battle. Alright, then we have the certified Omyo. The Omyo Master, Omyo Professor. Omyo Doctor and Omyo Guru! Woo! So it does not 
work twice in a row. All right. Um, well, this is I'm gonna check the uh, the stats of my Omeo trainee and take a look. Right, the last one was Geo Change. Um, rearranges Geo Panels and Symbols in the Item World. So basically, just change the effects. That could be uh, that could be either helpful or hurtful. Um, like you could use it until there's Invincibility or Reverse Damage Panels to take advantage of, or if the field is littered with um, Ally Move Do Damage or. Um, you know, mighty enemy panels. Uh, do this, and the problem is gone. And that's the last skill of the Geo, of the Omeo Monk. Well, you could just call it Monk if you have trouble with that pronunciation. So, in conclusion, um, they definitely have their use. They're not necessary, but they're actually much better than they used to be in the fact that uh, they actually look cool, and they're not. Um, and they can actually do decent damage. They have much better abilities than they used to have. They'll take advantage of this. I am pleased, because I like there to be as many useful uh, character classes as possible. Because I care. But this fight's just about over. And the next one doesn't have a story, and it's really short, so I'm going to throw that, out with that one in there as a bonus. This is ridiculous! How could we, the three brutes, lose? Now do you see? It's rather ludicrous for you weaklings to identify yourselves as brutes. Lord Valvatoris' absence is the only reason you were able to ascend to your positions as the top three. Now, learn your place. And you should know one more thing! Death the Measle has made a triumphant return from the depths of his own demise! That... that glowing skull... you are... Th That's right! My name is Amazel! Death Amazel! This... this is unbelievable! However, there's no mistake in that skull mark! This positive reaction is a first. So you guys admit that Amizel is alive? No. This is all wrong. Wrong? How? Sir Amizel is known for being a wimp, despite the fact that he's the son of our great president of the Netherworld. He couldn't possibly be some chivalrous guy who would join rebels from Hades. And defeat us, the three brutes of the Netherworld! N no! This means. It looks like your strength is now the main factor for doubting your identity. Not everything will go as you plan in life. Nevertheless, it is all because you've grown, and that is a good thing. And so is not! Because of all your effort to get stronger, you still aren't being acknowledged. What a waste of time. No! Wasting time and effort is the worst waste of all. But that's only if you give up now. That's right, Rascal. Nothing is considered a waste until you give up on it. No matter what anyone else says, don't worry. Just keep fighting until you receive your father's approval. Really? 
So I shouldn't let this get to me? All right. Until everyone admits that I'm a measle, I'll keep proving it to them. I am a measle! Just a measle! <laughs> There's no point in shouting that out here. Feel free to do that as much as you like when you're in front of your father. Oh, I thought that only harmful words came out of your mouth, but I guess you can be nice too. In what way could that have been taken as nice? Your ears must be rotten. Desko heard it too. Hmm, I know you can do this now. It was that type of thing. He's a tsundere. I've never seen one in real life before. Is this true, Fenric? You approve of me? What? Absolutely not! Hmm. Looks like our team is tighter than ever. We have no reason to stand still now. Come on! My lord, this is a mistake. I didn't intend to... I'm not a tsundere! <laughs> wow, I can't believe they kept that word in our translation. How many people actually know what a tsundere is? Um, I bang a lot of people don't know, but it's the character. It's a character type in anime. You know, it's think of the kind of girl character that appears really hard on the exterior and, and doesn't like anybody, but um, has a really hard time showing her af affection for that one special guy. You know, the main antagonist, uh, protagonist. Sorry. Um. Oh God. There's like there's like a character in every single anime ever. I don't feel like going into them but you know if you think about it it is kind of true Fen Fen is kind of a tsundere of course every time you hear the word I think of uh, Tsunade from Naruto who is not really a tsundere oh I guess you could call Sakura one maybe nah. I, 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 I never like that kind of character but that's not important. Um, by the way, that uh, Silos, the Omnio Monk, or the Thunder God as he was trying to call it, uh, that was voiced by Sam something or other. I can't remember his last name. But he did uh, Flynn in Tales of Asperia, where Valvatoras was uh, Yuri. So, you know, best friends, kind of rivals, stuff like that. And. He was also, uh, Viral in Gurren Lagann. Yes, sir. Um, this map could be annoying. Uh, the blue panel means that only one of my units can be on it at a single time. So I pretty much have to stay to the green para, uh, panels. Um, that's the Death Class. I don't really have... Do I have enough time to go? I guess I could try to go over them. Ready for me? Uh, that's kind of a lot to cover. And I got... Three minutes? That's not enough time. Not to mention, I really thought I could make it to, I would have enough classes for every single chapter, but I, honestly, I might run short. I don't feel like doing the math. God damn it! Uh, let me just say that um, I didn't think much of him at first, but since I had to make every single monster and I experimented with them a little bit, uh, they're actually kind of cool. Possibly the best magic casting monster class. For a specific reason. I'll get into it later. Oh man, I don't usually yawn this much. What the fuck is wrong with me? No! Woo! Double canine fists! You know you want to. You know you want a dual canine fist. 
but I can't do the dual canine fist. Time for the dual canine fist. You could easily make a rap out of that. Some people are pretty talented. I've never bo I don't think I'm ever gonna bother trying to mince lyrics and make songs like that. Although I always like those. You ever see those things where people make like music videos out of sound effects? Those always impress me. God damn it! Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Oh man, uh, twofer. You go, Arcwade. Arcweed. Even I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'll teach you a lesson. Lesson you teach, shall I? Dual canine fist! Take this, got a dual canine fist! Woo! Dual canine fist! Everybody now! I was considering going for a Geo combo. But they are happy. Oh my god, was that like my 19th yawn? See, that, that barely took any time. Well, that's it for this installment. Catch you guys on the flip side.